Will, what exactly are you looking for in the um, entries here? Well, there's four categories, impact, composition, colour balance and workmanship. And what I've done so far is just do a quick scan round every entry to try and set out the base layer to what I'm working to. So, say, impact, I'm trying to find out what does hit me in the eye and use that as a yardstick for everything else. Well, my name's Patrick Emery and I'm looking for the image just to convey a clear message without the information that's obviously given below the pictures. To me, they must tell a story, they must have a lot of impact uh, and a clear message. Um, I'm looking for something that really represents the community spirit, which is the brief of the competition in the first place. Um, I'm most impressed with the standard of work I've seen here tonight. Uh, much greater and better than I anticipated from students and it's a credit to them and their tutors for teaching them the, the standards which they've achieved. The kind of thing that I'm looking for is where people have really thought about what the community means to them and they've really made an effort to try and capture that on film. Are you impressed with the standard? Or yeah, I think it's a really high standard and what I really like is that this isn't anything to do with students' um, exams or it's just something they've done for the love of it, so that's really impressive. Uh, my name is Richard Dredge, I'm a member of the Youth Committee in, in the Rotary Club of Froome. This is the first year that uh, the Froome Club has actually been involved in Young Photographer of the Year, although Young Photographer of the Year has been around for some considerable time in Rotary. This, this, is, this attracted about 80 entrants of college students from 14 to, to 17 year olds and uh, the college tutors have taken those 80 and they've whittled that down to the last 25 and the 25 are here this evening being displayed. Everything in that, everything is in that, but impact of bang, yeah. you've got to look at it several times. Yeah. The, the colour balance between all the pictures is perfect. Absolutely. You know, yeah. absolutely. and the work that's gone involved in it, absolutely. I think it's 100%. So I've got 77, uh, what you got Sarah for the first one? I'm still tugging up the top of the things. The mass is quite hard. Have mine then, mine's 70. 70. We did like that one very much. Yes, mm. yes. It, the impact on it was fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Work, a lot of work went into that. A lot of work went into yeah. it. A lot of thought. That, yeah. yeah, and that's, you can see that. Exactly. Stand out a yeah. while. That's my picture. 72, sir. Celia. Um, I'm Rebecca Milner, I go to Froome Community College and my pictures are about spirit of carnival and the different themes you can get within carnival and how it relates to the, to the community. Um, I've been in carnival for 15 years myself and I think there's so many bright colours and so many different things you can capture with the camera within the carnival. Well, they were, actually. I can't. What names have you got? What names have you got? What's your question? shoot in a cafe up Catherine Hill um, with my sisters, Josie and Rena. Um, and then I laid that with some photos of the Remembrance Congregation because I thought that involved the whole community and it was a really nice aspect. and their kid, so I just wanted to show that family life and how it's in the community and 
like that? And it's the placing of the individual items around the two models that, that uh, Chloe Massey has used, which I, I particularly liked. And I, I like anything with a Union Jack in it, I don't know why. I like images that are laid on top of images. So, uh, you know, it's, this, this, all these four are quite clever in, in the respect that she's overlaying lots of different images. Uh, and, uh, well, it, there's a lot of interest there. It's not just a standard photograph. When Richard Dredge first asked me to uh, get involved with this competition, asked me to be one of the judges, I've got to be honest with you, my eyes rolled somewhat. <laughs> I thought, not again. Uh, I never really knew what standards to expect. But I can say that all the pictures that are here tonight, all the photographers who have taken them, are to be highly recommended. They are a superb set of pictures. And the, the particular, the winner, is an outstanding winner. Um, judged by all four judges as the overall winner with, uh, with ease. So that person's got to be congratulated. But well done to the students who produce such wonderful images. Excellent. Uh, so, uh, first highly commended, uh, Rebecca Milner. Rebecca Milner. Next up, uh, Olivia Butler Strauss. No, we, be we believe you. You look very young, but we do believe you. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, Isabel Adderley. In Paris. Not here. She's in Paris. She's in Paris. Well, we'll keep that for her. Uh, Polly George. Sam Garrett. <laughs> Tom Beatty. <laughs> and the last of the highly commended, Sarah Jeffrey. prize which includes not only a certificate but it includes 50 pounds 50 pounds and the second prize goes to Joe Halbert and uh, first prize ever so quickly Chloe Massey Well, the, the, the overall standard was very, very impressive, a, a lot higher than I ever anticipated. And uh, Chloe's panel, the winning panel, was absolutely outstanding. And we all, all the judges judged the pictures separately and independently, and we all came to the conclusion that this was by far the best panel. Uh, it was very creative, it has an enormous amount of impact, and uh, the the way it's all been put together has been absolutely superb and outstanding. And the young lady who took the pictures 
or to be congratulated and hopefully pursue a career in photography. I think the overall standards has been fantastic. Um, the, you can really see the passion that students have for photography. Uh, we really like the imagination and uh, using the layers and uh, it's just a, a, the idea that a community is a multi-layered thing and um, the, the student had built up lots of layers of uh, community images in the pictures and they you know, had really strong visual impact.